Hi, my name's Kip Bradford and I'm here on behalf of Expert Village. The next thing we want to do is take a closer look at our compressor limiter. Now this is our compressor limiter and as we mentioned earlier it's got a button that will help us uh, or allow us to combine both channels to link them so that they both work exactly the same. Now the functions that we have in a compressor limiter are as follows. We have a control called a threshold and what that means is at what point in our dyna dynamic range in the level of volumes above and below or going up and down at what point do we want our compressor to begin to do its job. Then we have attack. An attack tells us once the signal goes above the threshold how quickly in milliseconds do we want the compressor to engage. Then we have release in seconds from half a second to three seconds on this particular unit and this tells us once the compressed signal falls below our predetermined threshold how quickly we want our compressor to release the signal or to quit compressing the signal. And then we have ratio which tells us how much compression we're going to use. So a one to one ratio means that nothing's going to happen because once the signal hits the threshold or goes above the threshold, for every decibel that goes above the threshold, it will return at the output of the compressor one decibel. So one decibel above will give us one decibel. Two decibels above will give us two decibels. If we go to a two to one ratio, that means for every two decibels above the threshold, we'll get back one decibel. So if it's two decibels over, we'll get one decibel at the output. So what is a good general setting for uh, overall compression uh, in your space? I find that by setting my compression ratio to about two to one and my attack time to about five milliseconds and my release time to about one second and then I will move this threshold until I see that I'm getting a little reduction just a few decibels off of the top of my program material and then if I need to I will bring the output up just a little bit if I reduce the program material by too much. Years ago before they had compressors they would actually manually control compression and compression is, is essentially just automatic volume control.